What's up guys, welcome back to So Many Parks So Little Time, or as I like to call it, Someone's Pappy Sure Loves Texas. So today we are at Six Flags St. Louis, and the reason why we are doing this intro in my car is because it is currently torrential waterfall outside. <laughs> yeah, there's a big thunderstorm passing through, and it's dumping so much rain that I really hope that it just sort of lets it all out and then it'll be done for a while. But yes, our road trip continues at Six Flags St. Louis and this is my first time at this park. This will also be my first time at a Six Flags park since, uh, you know, this whole mask thing came to be. As for Six Flags, I actually have not heard too, too much about it. It is one of the original Six Flags parks, but I don't know, people just don't seem to talk about this particular park as much. As such, I'm hoping to be pleasantly surprised by this park. Uh, it is in a beautiful valley uh, just outside St. Louis. So yeah, I'm going to hang out inside my car for a little bit and hopefully th this weather clears up and once it does, let's uh, go inside and check out Six Flags St. Louis. So still waiting for the park to open. Uh, one thing I did not know was that there's actually a very lush green canopy over this park. Now it should have been expected given the, uh, the beautiful drive through the valley to get here. However, if you know Six Flags parks, you know that shade is not exactly their specialty, but here there are trees everywhere. It's definitely not like uh, Knobles or anything, but for Six Flags parks, this is probably the closest it's gonna get. So yeah, bravo to Six Flags St. Louis for keeping this many trees here. was a ride that wasn't really even on my radar. However, it's gotten very good reviews by the locals, and so when I gave it a try, I was surprised to see just how fun of a ride it is. First of all, its placement is just perfect. It's up on a hill, it uses the terrain really, really well, and that's something that I was not expecting from this coaster. So yeah, this truly is a gem of a, an attraction. You definitely need to go check out Screaming Eagle.
is an awesome ride and arguably the best roller coaster in the park. It is one of the biggest coasters CCI has ever built. And while it is giant, imposing, and dare I say beautiful, it's not quite as intense as some of the other CCIs I've been on, including the ones at Indiana Beach. The ride is not too rough, not too smooth, and like I said, it is a lot of fun. So there are a few things in this world that everyone can agree on, but two things that are pretty hard to argue. One, Batman and Robin is not a good movie. Two, the roller coasters based on that movie are intense. Mr. Freeze, just like its uh, Texas counterpart, is absolutely insane. The backwards launch is a lot of fun. This inverted top hat is just it's such a weird feeling. And then when you take the ride again forwards, it's just a really, really fun experience. Mr. Freeze, such a good coaster, not a good movie. kind was ever built in the United States. It's traveled to, uh, I think, Great Adventure and then here. And then even when it's here, it rarely operated. I don't think it even operated at all last year, but this year they managed to get it open. And I must say, the ride is okay. Yeah, it's one of those rides where it's not quite as intense as it looks. It looks insane from an off-ride vantage point, but on the ride it's, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's fun. Well, the ride is good. I don't think I'd travel out of my way to ride it, but you know what? I'm still very happy that I did get to ride it. American Thunder is so good. Now you may remember from last week's video, we went on Kentucky Rumbler, which I actually rode yesterday. And this is, coaster is similar in size, speed, isn't quite as punchy as Kentucky Rumbler, but it's still a very punchy ride. I think GCI does a really good job with these really compact, smaller roller coasters. So yeah, Six Flags St. Louis, they already had two really good wood coasters. They didn't need a GCI, but I am so glad that this is here because it is a really good one.
This coaster sucks. Sorry, coaster chads. Six Flags St. Louis, and I kind of doubt that this stay was conducive to a normal day at the park, but I really had a fun day here. As a whole, the park, while it may not be world class, is very, very respectable. It looks very nice, it was very clean, the staff was very friendly. The rides are not the best rides, but they are still very good rides. Some custom rides that you can't find anywhere else. As for problems, dude, Six Flags, what is with your really, really long queues? Especially Batman, there is no excuse for that. But seriously, the one big criticism I have for the park is it could really, really use a standout roller coaster. Something that will convince people from all over the world to really descend on this park. It is absolutely begging for world class, that's for sure. But like I said, I had a fantastic day here. This was a lot of fun. So if you are ever in St. Louis, be sure to stop by Six Flags St. Louis, the gateway to thrills. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Take care.